Here we go, folks. Finally, 100% proof of the type of police officers that we have in Mesa PD. <clears throat> Another officer was fired a couple of years ago, less than two years ago, for <clears throat> a lot of the same thing. Um, fucking around with uh, their co-workers, uh, but this one actually um, beat up one of the uh, co-workers, a uh, police officer, um, actually assaulted her. Um, in Mesa PD, Mesa community needs to watch this video 100%. Um, I'm going to stop talking here in a little bit, but I just want to put it out there. There are no less, I, this is my opinion, there are no, at least no less than 20 police officers that are just like this motherfucker. And no less than 45 officers that condone what they do. So, folks, this is the police department that we have protecting our community. And it goes all the way to the high ups that protect each other in Mesa. They could fucking care less about Mesa citizens. It, it irks me to the bone. Guys, please watch this. Spitting Cobra. News I team, our investigation into a Mesa police sergeant continues as we learn more about his disciplinary history. Body camera footage shows Sergeant Drew Young making inappropriate comments about his female colleagues. Bianca Bono, Bono joins us live. And Bianca, this isn't the first time that he's been in trouble. Yeah, that's right, Mark. He has a long history of internal affairs investigations and has even been recommended for termination three times. But instead, he was promoted. Mesa Police Sergeant Drew Young suspended for 80 hours without pay and given a one-year probation for talking about his female police colleagues like this. Mesa Police declining 12 News repeated interview requests, writing in an email that Young had three years of positive reviews in his file, but not acknowledging Young's lengthy history of internal affairs investigations, including recent years. I would blame the organization before I would blame the officer. The I-team learning this yeah. conversation caught on camera was far from Young's first time in trouble. In fact, it's at least his 21st, dating back to 2008, three years after he was hired. Records obtained by 12 News show Young was criminally investigated for submitting fraudulent overtime requests. Prosecution was declined, but he was investigated internally, where police staff also accused Young of failing to complete a rape report, failing to complete an armed robbery report, among a number of other violations. This is the first time Young is recognized recommended for termination. Instead, he was suspended for two days. And the internal affairs investigations kept coming. In 2014, Young's most severe penalty of his career, after he had a picture of a suicide victim on his personal phone, which... He had a picture of a suicide victim on his personal phone. Folks, this... These are the officers that are on the street protecting us. It, ah, oh, I've been telling you guys for years, this is Mesa PD. Mesa PD is highly, highly corrupt. Investigators found he showed to colleagues and family members. He was suspended for 240 hours and given a one-year probation, despite a commander recommending termination again. From 2015 to 2016, investigation after investigation. Then Chief John Meza writing he was calling into question whether Officer Young has the necessary skills and intellectual maturity to perform as a Mesa police officer. For a third time, termination was recommended, which again didn't happen. 
Thanksgiving. Instead, Young was put on probation for a year. I don't know who this person's fairy godmother is, but I think there has to be one. Or you have a department that condones this. In 2019, Young was given verbal counseling for leaving an inappropriate comment on a new officer's Facebook post. Months later, in January of 2020, Officer Young was promoted to sergeant. He's been recommended for termination three times. Did you get that? He actually told a new guy that was starting that the first case that they go on, they got to kick the door in and kick some fucking ass. That, that, <laughs> that it was tradition. It's tradition to kick the door in and beat some ass. Hired his promotion, which is the part that I think is so abnormal. Just six months after that promotion, have you seen her Facebook pictures? I mean, I want to turn it down. He's recorded making comments like these. I heard she's one of the few females that looks better in uniform than she does on her own. Experts shifting their focus to police department culture, wondering why repeated violations were allowed to happen. I don't know what's going on there at that department. Mesa community advocate Pastor Andre Miller has concerns too. They have a history of, you know, a slap on the wrist, probation, and, you know, walk a line. Then after a few years, it falls off, and then you can go back to your malfeasance or bad behavior. The Mesa police chief declined multiple interview requests to discuss Sergeant Drew Young and the department's decision-making process. But the city manager and council oversee the police department, so the I-team turned to those leaders. After declining to speak with us multiple times via email, we decided to show up here to city council to try and speak with the city manager, but he avoided us and walked out of the meeting before it was over. When you reach out to people who are supposed to represent me, it's horrible that they give you silence and don't give you an answer. Because not only do the news you want to know, but I live here in a community. I want to know what they think. And we want to point out that it was whistleblowers in Mesa that brought this case to our attention. And they, along with many others, have pointed out there are a ton of really great people and police officers in Mesa, including those who brought this to us and want to see some change. Okay, guys, this is the end. Um, I just want to put it out there. I have with um, a uh, very reliable source within Mesa PD that... <clears throat> There is a hell of a lot more to this that that we don't know about. Um, these are only the things that he's being investigated on. But there is a hell of a lot more to this that, that than we know about. Um, and I have been pointing it out for years the corruption, the, the 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 no caring for the community whatsoever. They are out there to do it their way. It it ha! Ah, it just irks me to the bone, and I've been saying this for years. Here is the proof that you can get away with a lot of shit in the Mesa PD. That's why most of us cop watchers that get arrested here wind up getting convicted because it goes all the way up to the top. Spitting Cobra, bringing it to you real 100%. I'm out.